Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can log on to interview.com and you can post your resume in this. In this video, I'm going to talk about very simple Java and question. When do I need to use Java Reflection? Java Reflection is a feature in the Java programming language. It allows executing Java program to, program to examine or introspect upon itself and manipulate internal properties of the program. For example, it is possible for a Java class to obtain the names of all its members and display them. The ability to examine and manipulate a Java class from within itself may, s may not sound like very much but another programming language this feature simply doesn't exist. See, in C, C++ you can't even load a class and try to manipulate it it's not possible in C and C++ whereas in Java it's possible you can do it the reflection API represents or reflects the classes interfaces and objects in the current Java virtual machine so what are the things you can do with Java reflection API with Java reflection API you can determine the class of an object get information about class modifiers fields methods constructors and superclasses find out what constants and method declarations belong to an interface create an instance of a class whose name i don't know until the runtime so you have a class and you don't know um, the name of it you can create it but if you know the interface you can do it create an instance of a class whose name is not known until runtime get and set get and set the value of an object's field even if the field name is unknown until to your program until runtime invoke a method of an object and even if the method is not known until runtime okay the reflection api is like whenever you want some plugin in your application introduce a plugin in your application then you can use for reflection because plugin a plugin b and say some other department want to deploy plugin C so you don't want to know the implementation let them put the plugin C charts no problem you can just invoke them by using reflection without even knowing what is the class or implementation okay so this is like extension for a reflection will be useful for extending your application without even knowing what is done inside the implementation okay it's like extension not you should not know much details about what they have done so using reflection you can just call those methods say these all these plugins can e write a method called execute anyone call uh, from your application you can call that execute methods and you don't even bother what is done inside okay how it is done inside you, you bother only this method signature and the return statement Hope this video is useful for your Java interview preparation. Thank you and all the best for your interview. If you like this video, please press the like button. Thank you.